concrete cleaner comes. Got a bag of tools, parts in there. Here's the actual concrete cleaner. Okay, so right off the bat, this is how this thing comes out of the box. The sticker is a little bit uh, peeled off, but I don't really care about that too much. If you look underneath, uh, this is really the heart and soul of the system. It's just two high speed or high pressure jets offset from one another. You can see the offset. One goes one way and one goes the other. And this thing is just spins around uh, using water pressure. It's it's cold because it has some condensation from the AC on here. I did notice a couple of little things. You can see uh, right out of the factory, they just use Teflon tape to make the seal. I'm sure that's not gonna matter too much. But I was looking at this one and I also looking at the one by Steel. The one by Steel is twice the price. So I wanted to try this Amazon special first. Uh, it does have the some nice, pretty nice stout uh, water hardware up here uh, with the brass attachment. And then it does, this is one thing I was a little concerned with. It actually does come with extension wands for your uh, short or your normal handle here. I do have a longer one in the garage, but I'm pretty grateful that I didn't have to come out and, and get that one. It has the extensions already ready to go. So let's get this whole thing hooked up and see if it'll actually clean this surface to my liking. Okay, got the hose hooked up. Got the crazy wobbly extension wand here. Things on. It's kind of runs the same way as a uh, airless sprayer, paint sprayer. If you ever use one of those, it's even though it's on, it doesn't make a lot of no it doesn't make any noise until you pull the trigger. So Not bad. I do see where you're going to need to take your time with it. If we kind of hold it up here, pull the trigger. Just kind of get an idea of what it's doing underneath there. So let's see if this thing will clean. All right, got a real nasty, grimy algae spot here, real thick with. Uh, that green algae. So see, you can see, if you just let it sit there, if you don't keep it moving, it'll just put a ring.
also did up here, my sidewalks all the way up. So this is about to get gutted and turned into a deck. So this is, it came out good. I mean, it does not, it does not take out um, deep, deep stains like from rust and uh, adhesive and all that kind of stuff. It's just gonna take off that nice surface layer of grime. So any imperfections you see in my concrete still are stains. This slab's about eight years old, nine years old. It lives under a humongous uh, oak tree. So it's, <laughs> and it's Florida. So it rains all the time. Like this rust spot right here, uh, this is from a rusty fire table. It doesn't take that out, but it also doesn't take out those deep green uh, dots you get from the sap that comes into the tree. You can see the damage that was done on my concrete slab before uh, I invested in this uh, surface cleaner. The surface cleaner did not do that. That's from using the wrong nozzle on a pressure washer. This slab, this concrete, is the first time that the surface cleaner has been used or anything has been done to clean this. And here's a nice dry spot. So you can see it doesn't take off any of the top coat, which is good. At least not a lot of it. It'll take a little bit off, I'm sure, but it's um, there's no visible rocks anywhere. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed all that fun pressure washing footage. You can see here the ground is nice and clean. I didn't do back here yet, so you can totally see the difference <laughs> between the dry concrete and the concrete that hasn't been cleaned yet. And I thought this slab was pretty clean. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this. Like I, I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but I was not given this. I purchased this for $79 on Amazon. I'll put a link down below where you can get this particular model. There's a couple of different models on Amazon. Uh, there's one for 50 bucks. And then there was this one, which had much better reviews for 79. Uh, so I'll put links down below. So you can see after about four hours of use, this is what it looks like. The sticker never came off. And honestly, this thing wouldn't even get wet. Uh, if you didn't do a uh, hover mode, <laughs> like I put in my video, if you guys are wondering why I kept lifting it up, I was just using that basically to rinse. Um, so I could see my lines. That's how bad my concrete was. You could see in here, uh, no wear and tear whatsoever. Everything is fine. The bearing doesn't make any noise. Uh, nozzles look to be okay. I guess the only Achilles heel of this thing, um, over time will be to probably have to clean those nozzles out or replace them as they get calcified over time but the a couple of takeaways on this you noticed I started the video off using an electric pressure washer and then um, to give you an idea that little Sun Joe's good pressure washer but it doesn't have enough um, PSI to really get in and get all the grime off in one or two passes you really got to go slow uh, it'll get the job done. It's just to take care of all this concrete that I have out here. I'd be out here till Christmas time. So um, definitely uh, run with a 3000 PSI. I think it'll run up to 4000 PSI, that little cleaner. But this is my little Honda uh, pressure washer that I got at Home Depot years back. And this thing has been an absolute workhorse. And, you know, you saw in the clips the 3100 PSI. Uh, when I went over to 3100 PSI, it just really cleaned so much more efficiently. I don't want to say better, I just more efficiently. Um, here's the wand I used. I got this thing at Ace, Ace or Home Depot, I'm not sure. It's a better wand than what comes on at factory. And I have a normal um, high pressure hose on here, max 3700 PSI. So that's just an idea of the rig that I was using. It's just a little consumer grade pressure washer and you can get professional results with this thing. So I would definitely say my honest review of this after I actually put it through its paces here is I don't know why I didn't have one sooner. I would highly recommend you purchase one of these if you have uh, surfaces like concrete that you want to clean. And I even showed in the beginning clip um, cleaning off those outdoor rugs. Man, I'm telling you, I brought them right back to new. I was about to toss those in the trash. So Pick one up in the link down below. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs up if you appreciated this video, if it helps you make a decision, or if you just wanted to learn how these things work. I hope I showed enough different clips just to kind of give you an idea. So thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll get you in the next video. Later.